Welcome to the crafting ant. Today is about one of our favorite species, Hapagnatus venatar, our real hunters. Let's see what these beautiful killers have been up to. These ants aren't for everyone. They don't take pre-killed food. I mainly feed them red runners. They take them down with ease, even if they're two times their size. It's cool to see that they hunt solo. A lot of species swarm their prey, but harps just creep up, grab hold and sting. This red runner wanted to hide in the harp's nest. As you can see, they use their big jaws to clamp and then sting. Because the red runner was trying to bite the harps, it let go, but it was already too late. After the venom did its job, it was dragged back to the nest. The last harps video we ended with eggs. They really take good care of them. And they turn into larvae. A lot of them. And to be honest, they look like they came right out of a horror movie. Just look at them. But they sure do grow fast. I feed them every day. What is happening there? That pile of dirt is moving. The first pupae has started spinning its cocoon. The workers brought it some soil. A couple of hours later it looked like this. Of course her sisters were around to help. And then it went fast. We have all stages now. Eggs, larvae and cocoons. And more cocoons. Even more cocoons. It just keeps on going. At this moment we have 30 cocoons. Still pupae and still more eggs. And while we're waiting for them to hatch, there was an idea in the Discord server. We have a section where you can put an idea. And if I like it and decide to make it, you get a free copy. There was a message from Faradis Quo, better known as Nina Turu. She had a problem that I was also experiencing. Species like Hapagmatus venatars have problems drinking water. In tubes with cotton, they can get stuck. Because of their jaws, normal liquid feeders don't give enough room. Time to craft something. The jaw drinker is still being tested. But it's great to be talking about problems and trying to solve them together. Thank you Nirituru for your input. When it's done, you're getting one. Now that our colony is about to expand, we also need to think about the nest. For this, I need your help. What do you guys think is the best option? I have a medium gen 4 gypsum nest, but I could also use a medium flex nest with a white tongue insert. Or do you have a better idea? Let me know in the comments. The cocoon stage of harps takes about 6 weeks. To fill this time I made a small decoration. Since they come from the southeast of Asia I went looking for a structure that could fit the setting. Thingiverse is perfect for that. I settled on the Angkor Wat Temple. Doesn't it look great? But wait, what is that? Wings? We have a leads! Look at her! A real princess! And look at that one! A prince! Ah, the nest is so dirty. I can't take it anymore. Let's do a lid flip. I've never done this before. So, a lid flip is that you flip the plexiglass lid on top of the nest. And then you can clean it. Watch out because your ants will be able to escape. That went very well. Except that I cannot get the glass back into the right position. So I quickly cleaned it. 
I was thinking, should I flip it back? But then the ants started to wander around and stick their head between the glass and the nest. So I decided to put the bolts back in the, into place and then pull the glass into the frame with the bolts. I was afraid that our beloved Hapagnatus Venatars would be stressed, but they seem just fine. And the view is so much better. You can really distinguish the male. Much smaller, wings and bright orange gaster. There's no future for this prince, so it will probably die. I have read that the princesses will lose their wings and become workers. I guess we have to wait and see. Don't forget to give your opinion in the comments on the future nest for this great colony. And if you want to help our channel, join our Discord. And of course, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you next week at the Crafting End.